Ladies and gentlemen, Luke Combs sits to chat with Bennett from Most Requested Live. Hey, what's up, dude? Thanks for hopping on the show. Yeah, Appreciate it. Of course, man. Thanks for having me. Freaking congratulations on uh, life, the tour, the song, fast car, being a dad again. I mean, this is just unreal yeah. time for you. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it's, it's pretty busy. <laughs> And when you think about it, it all, you know, stems from being a five-year-old kid listening to records with your father, which I think so many of us can relate to. I know I can. Yeah. A lot of songs bring me back to my childhood like that. And I'm kind of curious what other songs you listen to with your father and, and could there be future covers like Fast Car in your future? Oh, gosh, I don't know, man. Um, this one's done pretty well and uh, pretty unexpected, you know, um, when I, you know, when we went in to record it, I was just doing it. You know, I just, I just love the song and have been a fan of it for a long time and have been covering it ever since I could play, ever since I could play guitar, really. And, um, just felt like doing a, doing my own version of it. And, um, you know, just, just cause I love it, you know? Um, and I mean, things I remember, you know, listening to my dad, Bob Seeger, um, Dave Matthews. That was, you know, that was probably, I don't know, when I was more like 11 or 12, probably. Um, gosh, man, Tom Petty. Um, I mean, so many things. I mean, everything, you know. Um, I mean, I definitely wouldn't rule out doing a, a cover again at some point. Obviously, this one's been been re well received. So, um, but yeah, man, I'm, I mean, my parents were just always listening to music in the house, you know, any and everything, you know, there was kind of no line of what they would or wouldn't listen to. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and that stays with you for life, obviously, it kind of shapes you and, and yeah. molds you and, and your musical taste and whatnot. And, uh, and that's so great, like the way Fast Car has been received, Tracy even giving her stamp of approval, which is, is just so nice to see. And, uh, you know, she was so amazed to be on the country charts in 2023. Like, that's it's pretty crazy. Yeah. A really cool moment. And, you know, life is just full circle. I mean, obviously, you're a dad now expecting baby number two in September. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Me. Thank you. Uh, how has being a dad changed you musically? Has has it affected your writing, performing, etc.? Yeah, you know, um, you definitely have a lot less time to, to sit around and write songs. I'll tell you that much. Um, but no, it's it's been it's been awesome, man. You know, um, just kind of you know, he's, you know, just over a year old now. And so we'll have another one here soon, which is going to be nuts. Um, but yeah, man, I just really enjoy, you know, it's, it's a huge juxtaposition between being on the road and being home, right? Like for the most part, you know, my wife and my son stay home uh, just cause he's so small, you know, the routine is, is so important, I think for him. And um, so, you know, it, when I'm home, I'm just kind of, I don't really do much else besides, you know, like, you know, making food and changing diapers and, you know, rolling around on the floor. And, you know, that's, that, that stuff's awesome, you know, and then you go out on the road and you're, you know, selling out back-to-back -back nights at the stadiums, you know, it's like the juxtaposition there is pretty insane, but I think, um, I think it, it really helps you stay grounded, right? Like you come home and, you know, your kid has no idea that what goes on, you know, when you walk out of the door, you know what I mean? They're just, you know, they just need you to be there to to take care of them and and spend time with them and and love them. And so, um, that's really cool, man. It's a really cool, uh, really cool and pretty drastic uh, difference. Yeah, it's amazing. One night you're changing a, a poopy diaper, and the next night you're you're yeah. you know in front of a sold out yeah. stadium. It's just for sure. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, unreal. it's that's definitely wild for sure. It's yeah. unreal. I was curious, you know, since this is like such a massive, massive worldwide tour 40 shows right i mean mm -hmm. what's what's on your rider what do you need to make it feel maybe a little bit like home and connected oh gosh man um mostly just i mean mostly just mixed drinks you know <laughs> i mean like our riders like mixers you know it's kind of like coke diet coke you know club soda sprite um i mean we we carry our own catering so we we eat good as you can probably tell um but <laughs> You know, I mean, we, we don't, you know, we go play golf, which is pretty fun. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, man. You know, I mean, we, I don't know. A lot of times we bring most of the stuff we need, you know, I think. Is that right? Um, oh, wow. Yeah. I think riders, you know, it's something little, I think people for, tend to forget that they still pay for that stuff. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> they're like, man, oh, I get this and this and this. It's like, well, no, you, you're still paying for it, but somebody just goes and gets it for you. you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I think people tend to forget that sometimes. Now, when is the shotgun and the beer happening? Before or after the show or both? Uh, that during. During, during the show. During, during the show. All of it. All the above. That's happening. Yep. During the show is when that's happening. What, what's, yep. what's the record time for you? Do you, do you have like a. Mm. Oh, it's under under record? two seconds for sure. Yeah. God. Under two is probably the record. Yeah. Somewhere around there. To it or just just more reps? Just just drinking a lot <laughs> in college. You know, a lot of, you know, I failed out of college pretty much. So if that tells you anything. <laughs> same i'm with you yeah hey so uh a lot of a lot of uh concerts have been popping up in the news people you know fans throwing some some fun stuff up on stage mm -hmm. the weirdest thing someone has thrown up on stage for you uh the weirdest thing they've thrown on stage gosh nothing like mega weird mm -hmm. you know um i've signed you know signed a few prosthetics which was interesting. interesting um you know but nothing nothing's really made it you know i mean you get your bras and you know your and all that kind of stuff um but nothing weird you know nothing yes. weird's gotten thrown up there yet for sure yeah i've been hit with stuff you know drinks stuff like that you know like yeah. everybody else but <laughs> prosthetics that's up there though prosthetics is up there for sure one of the sweetest moments we saw eight year old uh, Cooper, who's, you know, uh, just survived cancer, right? Battling mm -hmm. leukemia. What a mm -hmm. what a sweet moment that was. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah, man. It, it was it was, you know, it was pretty organic, too. Right. Like I, I met him in uh, my meet and greet for the show. And, um, you know, it was kind of like, hey, you're going to you're going to meet him. And here he comes around the corner and he was like, hey, can I sing with you tonight on on this song and i was like sure pal so we'll figure it out you know we'll figure out how it works and um you know so that stuff's always always um always fun man it's always so cool to get to to do something like that um especially especially for for the kids man you know um and he was just you know, so he's a little overwhelmed out there um mm -hmm. but man we we had a good time and i think i think he really enjoyed it and uh, it's just really neat you know i think that's the thing that you know, it's the best part of the job, right? Is to to be able to do stuff for for someone else, right? It's not what I can do for me or what I can buy for myself or my, you know, family. It's like, what can I do for you know somebody like that? So for for you know a fan that it's their first concert or you know somebody that's going through a tough time. Like, how can you make their life better by how lucky you've been able to be? I think that is, you know. That's the that's the real blessing, right? And what we get to do. That's just incredible. And you know, just how you have those memories that you have forever. I mean, this is something that Cooper will have forever as well, and they'll stay for, sure. with him, uh, for, for a lifetime. So, uh, just appreciate your time and uh, and catching up with us a little bit. Congratulations on, on everything. On, on, on appreciate it again. The tour, fast car, and we'll see you out there on the road. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. I really appreciate your time, man.